okay now what do i want i want to see what is the trend of sales okay this the what is this data about i have explained uh, in the recorded module so i want to see what is the trend of sales okay so what will i do i'll put my sales here I put my order date here. Okay. In date change, I mentioned also. I put my order date. So something is a problem. What is the problem? I understand. Okay. Uh, tell me why it is not coming. Suggest me what should I do. Should you zoom out? No. <laughs> it's a very practical uh, solution, uh, practical suggestion, but the uh, issue is not zooming in or zooming out. Okay, I'll tell you. Okay, first of all, let us go to. We will go. We will go to resources. Okay, in resources, we will see manage added data sources. Okay, and this is the data source which we have added, and we are going to edit it. Here you can see by default Google Data Studio has recognized the category as a text, which is correct. It has recognized city as a text, which is partially correct. Customer name, uh, country as a country, which is correct. Customer name as text, which is fine. Discount as a text. Discount is not not a text. It's a number, okay, and also it's a percentage. So I will change it. Feedback as a text. Order date. Order date is recognized as a text. Rather, it is a date, so I'll go and change here. It is date. Okay. Again, Google is having some problem with understanding the date, so I'll click OK as of now. Okay. And then uh, profit. Profit is again a number, so I'll put number. Quantity. Quantity is again a number. Okay. So like this, I will change whatever uh, type is strongly recognized by Google Data Studio. Okay. Now. Now again, I couldn't get the uh, trend line. Okay, what is the problem? The problem is that we have entered our data in the original data sheet. Order date we have in, uh, entered as 03-01-2018, which means 3rd January 2018. But somehow, Google Data Studio is not is not able to understand how to read this date. Okay, because some people put Month in the first, and then day in the second, and year in the third. But we are putting day in uh, day in one, a uh, day in first place, month in second place, and year in third place. Uh, and whether this is denoting a time or minute or hours, that's not very clear. That is why we need to teach Google Data Studio how to read our data. Okay, how to read our data. So for that, I'll what will I do? I'll add a new field. Okay, and I will name this new field as new date okay now i'm going to tell you a formula the magic formula which is parse date p a r s e p a r s e parse date so when parse date means it is a formula which is helping google data studio understand how to read my date okay so parse date how should how is my date entered First, I'll put uh, uh, upper quotations, then percentage month, percentage D, D for day, percentage M, small m, uh, and then hyphen percentage year. Okay. Okay. And then where should I get the data from? I should get the data from order date. Okay. And I'll close it. Now Google Data Studio will validate whether this formula is correct or not, and will give a tick mark. Okay, what is the logic behind me putting? Uh, one second, I'll just try to copy paste. So 
So this is the formula. Okay, past date. This is the formula. Past date. Meaning of past date is that I am telling Google Data Studio how to understand my date. Okay, past date, and then in uh, upper quotation, percentage date. Okay, percentage D. This means the first character in my date is day. Okay, I mean the actual uh, day. It is one, two, three, four, like that. Okay, see, you can compare here. Three hyphen one hyphen two thousand eighteen. So three, the day is three hyphen month one. So hyphen uh, percentage M hyphen percentage Y. Small M is for month. If you are putting it as capital M, then it will be considered as a minute. Okay, so you should. Copy paste. Uh, you should use this formula. And where should the date be taken from for reference? It should be taken from the column order date. Okay. So just a second, I will copy paste this formula in the WhatsApp group so that it will be easy for your future reference. Okay. Now I have copy pasted. Next. Let me go back to the data studio. And see, a green tick has come. If I have made some minor mistakes, for example, if I forgot to close the upper quotation, then my formula wouldn't be valid. Okay, so it is showing me syntax error. Okay, so when I am putting my formula correctly, then uh, it will give a green tick, which means I am good to go. So first, I should click save, then I should click done. Okay, if I am directly giving uh, clicking done, then it won't uh, understand. Okay, it won't be saved. So I am clicking done. Now. Instead of order date, instead of order date here, I'm going to put new date here, and here also I'm going to put new date. Okay. Once I'm doing it, I should be able to see. Okay. But why I'm not seeing? There is some mistake which we have done. Okay. We will put some category. Yeah. Okay. And in record count, we'll put profit. Okay, something is not right. We'll check out what is the problem. So let me refresh once. Okay. After refreshing, it is showing properly. Okay, now it is showing me the uh, in each category, in each category, what is the total profit it is showing? For better understanding, I'll put the sales here. Okay, I'll put uh, sales here. Okay, now this is the sales of uh, this is the sales each date wise, but I'm not uh, each date according to different categories. For ease of understanding, I'll remove this category. I just wanted to see what is the sales. So this is the uh, total sales which is made on each day. But this is a little bit cumbersome for me to understand. So what I'll do, instead of showing it date-wise, I'll show it as year-wise. Then you can see 2018 sales, 19 sales, 20 sales, 21 sales. I can show it as year quarter-wise. 2018 quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, like that. Okay, whichever mix and match you want, you can see. This I have clearly explained in the pre-recorded video module, title dates. Okay, so in that you can see. So, but why I am mentioning this in live session? That is because some of for some of you, Google Data Studio is not able to understand how to interpret the dates. For that, we are using the formula past date. Okay, past date and helping the Google Data Studio understand how to read and how to interpret our dates. Okay, so this is the next thing which I wanted to say. Okay. So is anyone if is everyone clear with this? Are anyone having problems? Vishwadeep sir, are you clear with this? Yes, 